Hello, Junior Hoopers. Big welcome to our two Seans, particularly big welcome back to Sean Gannon. Great to have you back in the club, Sean. We've missed you for the last few years. Thanks, Paul. But, but we know you needed to go to somewhere else just to up your game to come back to the Champions. <laughs> it's, all, it's good to have you back. It's good to have Sean Kavner back as well. Sean's going to be back hopefully full season this year, Sean. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Missed it last year, so hopefully yeah. I get a good full season this year. We're going to kick it off today. I'll welcome back all the junior hoopers. We've got Abby Waters going to kick it off. Hi, Abby. My first one is for Sean Kavna. Right. Um, who was your favourite Rovers player when you were younger and why? Um, yeah, I'd say when I was younger, um, a lot of my friends were Rovers fans and um, Gary Twig, or like Gary Twig, he scored some goals against Bowes, didn't he? So that always gets you in the good books. So hopefully I can do that one day. My next one is for Sean Gannon. Um, what took you so long to follow our captain Ronan Finn back to Rovers? <laughs> <laughs> good question, Abby. It's a very good question. Um, I don't know is the answer, but um, it's great to be back. I think it's the right time for me to come back. I think I've always wanted to play for Rovers again um, and to get, be given the chance to come to a great team. Um, the champions, obviously, it's it's an offer that I couldn't turn down. Well, I owe I owe the club a lot from what they done for me years ago. So I'm hopefully hopefully I can come back and, and help the team. Here we got Eden Murphy. Hi, Eden. This is for both of you. Who's gonna be the first to kick Dano? <laughs> <laughs> this is Junior who behave. <laughs> you got that from the fifties. You don't understand it. <laughs> Dano Kelly. Um, oh, me, me. Of, no, we'll have that. No, we'll, we'll, take we'll be fighting for that. We won't want to kick We flip a coin. We flip a coin, <laughs> Cavill. <laughs> Who's the best player you've ever played against? Best player I ever played against. Um, I thought the... Can you remember we played Apollon in Europe a couple of seasons ago? Yeah. yeah. Um, the winger off them was really good and he was quick and strong and good on the ball. So he probably gave me one of my tougher nights. But yeah, I'd say, I'd say probably him. A couple of years back, we played Zenith, St. Petersburg from Russia. And um, there was a guy playing on my side called Giuliano. Um, and I think he was playing for Brazil a couple of weeks before it. So it was, it, was a, it, was a tough, it was a tough night. So he would be definitely the hardest player that I've played against. So we have uh, Ryan Brophy on. Who is the manager's teacher's pet? Who's that, Ryan? Um, yeah. The birthday boy, is it? Hey, Ryan. Thank you. Happy birthday, Ryan. Happy birthday, buddy. Thanks. <laughs> You're a big A today, Ryan, yeah? Happy birthday, buddy. Thank you. Right, so who's the teacher, the manager's teacher's pet? <laughs> Cabo, this um, one's for you, definitely. I'll go first. Well, I won't give any names, but two of them have left this season they were probably the biggest manager's pets so you can work that out yourself <laughs> um, and in the squad now manager's pet I'd say either Ron and Finn or Graham Book they love him and he loves them I think it's, uh, a, it's a strong relationship <laughs> adopt the children yeah <laughs> there's Noah there hi Noah hello hi Noah how are you keeping good good who's your question for both. Both. Who cool. was the toughest? Who was the toughest team you've ever played against in Europe as well? Um, it'd have to be Arsenal. Um, they were they were really good. They just keep the ball, they tore you out, and then it doesn't seem like they're going anywhere. And then all of a sudden, you know, they just turn it on, and it was it was very tough. I have to say. Well, I only came on for about ten minutes or so against AC Milan. They were obviously really good and. Um, but probably for a full game I played one when I was at Fulham against Bournemouth when they were in the championship and they beat us I think it was 5-0 on the night and I just came off the pitch and thought wow they, they were very good like I got nowhere near them so I'd say them Is Riley Saul there? Hey Riley Good rings in man His question's for Sean Gannon He said Sean was asked about scoring against us and whether he kissed the Dunlop badge on his shirt or would he bite it? No I was biting it <laughs> I thought, I thought I was biting it. biting it off. Biting it off. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty Riley wasn't having that question. Hello, Mark Sweeney. Hey, Mark. Who was your idol growing up? My idol growing up, I was um, 
I used to love <coughs> Steven Gerrard. Um, just the goals he used to score and some of the passes he used to play. So, um, yeah, I just used to watch his game and think I could become him, but um, haven't got there yet. So maybe in a couple of years. Um, the exact same. Yeah, same player. Yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, yeah. He's, two um, Liverpool fans. Yeah. He was always the kind of as a Liverpool fan growing up. He was always the one that you'd be, you know, you'd be more in the most. James White, there. Hey, James. Why um, did you want to play for Shamrock Rovers in the first place? In the first place, I was I played for a different team, and when I was leaving that other team, I was um, I had a couple <laughs> of offers from one was Derry, and then Shamrock Rovers. So yeah, once Shamrock Rovers came came and asked me to play, I was where I'm from and how big the club is it was an easy decision and I haven't looked back and love every minute of it so far for me um, I was playing DDSL football you know under 18s I didn't know that I was going to have a career in football um, and Rovers was the team that gave me a chance you know they signed me for the youth team and you know oh. gave, me, gave me everything that I needed Are to kind of progress into the first team so um, ever since then it's just been you know, every time I've played for Rovers, it's it's been a privilege, and as Sean says, and hopefully many more trophies to come. Absolutely, we like to send the trophies. We can use them now. Sean McDonald, hey, Sean. Hi. How are you getting on, Harry? Can out? Yeah. You uh, my question. Room? Yeah. What's your favourite match that you ever played in? I'd have to say the ball semi final. Remember away in the um, Daily Mail when we beat them. Um, 2-0 it was uh, yeah getting that was my first cup final to get to and to do it against Bowers I don't think you could probably pick a better opponent to do it against I suppose mine would be the away game against Legia Warsaw from Poland um, back in 2016 and um, it was you know brilliant we didn't we didn't go through on the night but it was a brilliant atmosphere and um, just their supporters were a bit crazy, so it was a it was a great atmosphere. So James Green there. Hey James. Outside football, who's your favourite sports star? I like me golf, so I'd say I'd have to go for a golfer. Um probably I like Brooks Kepka and Tiger Woods. Do you know Tiger Woods? Yeah. Yeah, he'd he'd probably yeah. be my one. I would actually I would say Tiger Woods myself. Um I like I wouldn't be as good a golfer as Cavo, I don't think. Um, but um, I'm, I'm a massive golf fan. I would say Tiger Woods. Is Logan there? Logan Watch. My question is for Kavna. Do you play FIFA? Um, yeah, I do actually. Because um, I have a son and he's six and he loves FIFA as well. So every time I get in from training, he's like, Dad, Dad, can we play FIFA? So... I have to play with him and when I can get him off the PlayStation, yeah, I sometimes I sometimes have a game myself. And with you, Sean Cannon, do you play it? I do a little bit, but I'm not very good. I'm not very good now, I have to say. But um I would have a couple of games, but uh, more of a Call of Duty man myself. Yeah, Harry Moore. Hey Harry. <laughs> Hi. So hey, this is Harry, all right, you know? Yeah, this is for Sean Kavanagh. How hard was it not to play a lot of the games this season, but was it good to get a bit of game time against AC? It was very hard. Um, last December, I yeah got told I needed a knee operation that would keep me out for six months, well, six to nine months. So, yeah, it was tough at the time, but um, I just needed to stay positive and do what the physio said and to get back. And to get back um, against AC Milan was was like a present for all your hard work and it was just nice to get on the pitch that night against a big team but yeah good question this is for Sean Gannon do the lads ever slag you over the goal you scored two years ago against Rovers for the match winner not yet no the lads have been the lads have been very welcoming to the group um, it's it hasn't it hasn't happened yet but I'm sure somebody will get me in training who was the fastest between you two there's only one winner there and it's not me so how was a silkier player than me? <laughs> <laughs> You're all too nice to each other. <laughs> you have a question for Alexi. Hey, Alexi. My question's for Sean Gannon. How excited are you to play against Dundalk in Oriel Park? Great question. Great question. Good question, I'm, Alexi. I'm very excited. 
I'm very, very excited because um, we want to beat them. We want to beat them. Um, and that's, as Sean, as Sean Legree would say, you know, they're the rivals and we want to be, we want to be going and, you know, beating the rivals in their own backyard. So I'm very excited. We've got Michael Keenan on, hey, Michael. I have a question um, for Sean Gannon. Um, how did you feel when you played against Rovers in the FAI Cup final? Mixed emotions, really, when you when you lose a cup final. Um, you know, you you feel terrible, but um, football kind of always gives you another opportunity. Um, and you know, obviously playing against Rovers is really really tough because they're a brilliant team, and we probably bit of a smash and grab last year. Um, I thought Rovers were were the better team. Um, we probably started the game well, and then Rovers took over. So um, mixed emotions to win one and lose one. You know, you're both both feeling really sadness for losing, and then happiness when you win one. We went out the last couple of questions now from Shay O'Connor. Hey, Shay. This is for both of us. Would you listen to your teammates or listen to music? And what music would you listen to? Yeah, on the buses to matches, I normally um would chat to the lads. <laughs> I sort of sit beside Graham Bork, Ronan Finn, and Joey O'Brien on a way day. So I'd more listen, uh, yeah, listen to the lads and talk to the lads and listen to music. But um, yeah, if I was listening to music, I'd listen to a bit of everything. I suppose probably um Oasis is probably a bit too a bit too old for you. Um, um, yeah, but more so just chat to the lads on the bus. How was your Sean? Yeah, no, I wouldn't. Recently? Yeah, no, I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be. I wouldn't be a big music fan on the the day of a game. Um, I'd, if I was going away on a on a bus, I'd be just chatting chatting to the lads. Or um, yeah, that's that's really it. I wouldn't. There's one. There's always been one guy who's kind of in control of the music. I wouldn't have a say in it. I'm probably a bit too well out of touch with, with the music <laughs> these days. So um I left it to Dan Cleary, he was in charge of that. Um he's but DJ, yeah, was he? yeah, he was he was yeah, he was the DJ. Not a good one now. Who's gonna was, be who's the DJ in the Rovers changing room? Have you figured um, it out, Tesha? I don't know. I haven't I haven't heard anything yet, but I'll 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 let Cabo answer it and see. Yeah, have you figured out whether Alan Man is human yet, John? Well, have you asked that question last week? Whether Alan Man is, <laughs> is actually human or not? <laughs> no, I've, I've played. I've played with Al before. He was he was here um, when I was when I was younger, and uh, he was actually very good to me when I was here. Um, so um, he, he still, you know, I think he's gotten I think he's gotten bigger since <laughs> since I was here last. He's an absolute monster, but um, I don't know if he's human. It's a good question. I think it was Aaron McInnes who said on a, on, a, on a trip he was away with me. Woke up in the middle of the night and Aaron Alan Manis was standing over his bed and he said he's never slept, never slept properly <laughs> since. <laughs> a couple of good things. That's all our questions, guys. Thanks a million to the two to do Sean's for joining us today. Keep on hooping, right? Thanks everyone. Bye. Thanks, Sean. Thank Thanks, you. Everyone. No Thanks, two lads. Thanks, lads. Bye. 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 Bye